Azure Frame ABS versus ASA. They have the same price. ASA is UV resistant or less smell during the printing, so why do we have the ABS? Maybe there are some important mechanical properties where it is better. Let's find out. Welcome back to another material testing video. I have here again ABS versus ASA from the same manufacturer from Azure Film. They have the new Prime line. A few weeks ago I tested their PLA Prime and it is designed for annealing with minimal shrinking and deformation. Very interesting material, you can check that video. But here in this video I am testing their ASA and ABS Prime filaments. Both have the same price and both have that uh, zero warping technology. If you're not familiar with these materials, they are a little bit harder for printing because of that warping and it is recommended to print them inside enclosure. Now here that warping is significantly reduced. Some other specifications, they have this high impact resistance, but this is typical for these filaments. And also interlayer adhesion, which is not typical for these filaments. I'm curious about that layer adhesion. ASA have some advantages against uh, ABS. For example, it is UV and weather resistant material. But uh, this ABS has a smaller smell during the printing. Mm, we will see that soon. But probably this smell is compared to the regular ABS, not to ASA. But I'm curious about the mechanical properties because I still don't see the advantage of the ABS versus ASA. ASA Prime is in dark blue color, the print temperature between 235 and 255 degrees Celsius and bed temperature between 80 and 100 degrees Celsius. The ABS Prime is in black color and the print temperature between 240 and 265 degrees Celsius, bed temperature between 70 and 100 degrees Celsius. They have these spools with a lot of holes so we can easily lock the end of the filament. And same information we have on the sticker like on the box. And both have this nice vacuum packaging with some desiccant inside and I will open them before the printing but without drying. I print everything on Bebelab X1 Carbon and I even got from Azure Frame the recommended print settings and I'm using the engineering plate with some glue stick on it. 260 Celsius and the nozzle 90 on the bed and 20 is the flow rate and I also reduced the part cooling which was a mistake, different settings in Bebo Studio works great and you will see this with ASA printing. It looks fast but I slow down the max flow rate to 18 cubic millimeters per second. Printing is finished, let's check it. The bed already cooled down. Okay, it sticks good now. ABS parts are printed and now I'm switching to ASA and the information I got from them that I should print everything on 260 degrees Celsius but uh, here the max temperature is 255 so I print on this temperature because most of the users will not go above this temperature. I'm using the same G-code here only manually I change the temperature from 260 down to 255 degrees Celsius and I'm using the same speed here. I don't really like these big overhangs, probably I have to reprint few objects. The chamber temperature inside is 46 degrees Celsius, which is not much, and the printing is finished. The bed already cooled down, let's check the objects. They are straight, no warping, only I don't like this overhang here. Hmm, maybe we found the first advantage of the ABS, is it maybe easier for the printing? So this is that critical overhang. These are not perfect, but way better than the ASA. And uh, I will reprint both test objects, only I'm not sure in what direction. One important thing I changed from the different settings is the part cooling on the overhangs. I reduce it to 30%, I think, but the default is 80%. I will set it back and reprint these test objects. And this time it looks better, but I will analyze it later. Wow, huge difference. And this is why I am preparing a new video where I want to measure the effect of the part cooling and the temperature to the layer adhesion. And of course the quality. And same from the ABS. And of course ABS looks good too. Oh, <laughs> perfectly clean. And this is why correct settings, the combination of the temperature and the part cooling is extremely important for these materials. Just quickly, I want to measure the shrinking. This should be 80 millimeters. And I'm measuring about the elephant foot, 79.67. 79.63. Hmm, interesting. 
I measured several parts and yes, a little bit less shrinking on the ASA part compared to the black ABS part. And theoretically this should reduce the warping and also we will have better dimensional accuracy. The tensile test with horizontal printed test objects. And here you can see the average values for these materials. Minimal difference between the numbers but no difference in the brake types. Layer adhesion test with vertically printed test objects with the correct part cooling. Just for curiosity, a layer adhesion with these test objects where the part cooling was not enough. Layer adhesion test with very low part cooling. I don't really know how to explain this. I was quite sure that this will have better layer adhesion. Maybe there is some anomaly in the cross section or maybe they were under some angle in the holder. But definitely it is good to know that a proper part cooling results not only nicer parts but a proper layer adhesion. It could be better but definitely it is better than this. Two sided shear test, first with the horizontally printed objects and then with the vertical printed where the layer attention will be important. These are horizontally printed test objects. And these are vertically printed. Keep in mind that this type of the stress is very sensitive to low direction and I'm very thankful to the comment who suggested me to start testing these two. The torque or twist test with horizontally and vertically printed test objects and I want to record the load at 90 degree rotation and the maximum load. But probably with the vertically printed objects I can record only the maximum load because they will break suddenly. Very similar load on 90 degree rotation and equal on the maximum load. And these are printed in vertical position. Here we can see some difference. The difference between the numbers is not so big like with the shear test and sometimes actually it is equal for some materials but this will break very suddenly compared to this one. 3 point bending test and here you can see when all loads are placed but I will place them one by one and I am measuring the deformation after 1, 30 and 60 seconds. This is the deformation under 2.5, 5 and under 10 kilograms. Interesting, the bending was very noticeable, but I cannot see any permanent deformation on them, maybe very minimal. Creep tests the deformation under the constant load, which is 1.25 kg, 16.76 on ABS part and 16.32 on ASA. After 5 days, even with the bare eyes, I can see more deformation on the ABS part, but let's measure it. 18.98 1767. Removing of the load. After the test I can see very minimal permanent deformation on them, but they are very equal. Hard to see any difference with bare eyes. The impact test and still with my DIY impact tester because the machine from the eBay is not ready yet. I explained this in my previous video. ABS. Zero position. ASA. Strange break of this ABS part and this ASA broke only when the hammer swings back. These are the edge positions of the hammer. The difference is not big. The ABS is slightly more brittle compared to the ASA, but both materials are just a little bit above the average ABS toughness. The temperature test in the oven, I want to record the temperature of the first deformation. This is speed up video, it's a little bit hard to follow the numbers, but in both cases they start to deform at approximately 94 degrees Celsius, which is typical for these materials. I will start the experiment on 110 degrees Celsius. For the filling equally soft. After this test they have very similar deformation, maybe slightly more shrinking on the ABS part. Before I show you the results, I want to discuss one thing. So usually these uh, Excel tables are available for download for individual videos. And I have that summary table where I'm collecting all the data from my earlier videos. And that table is available to my Patreon supporters. And recently I got the information that uh, somebody started to sell in some closed forum these uh, summary tables. And when my informer asked the seller about the legality of that uh, table, he explained that yes, it is legal because uh, he collected the data from my individual Excel tables, which are under Creative Commons license. I mean, attribution is given. He is selling my tech fund summary tables. 
and I'm not sure at this moment, maybe I will stop providing uh, Excel tables for individual videos. I mean, everybody can see this in the results part, in the video itself, because this is my only gift to my Patreon supporters. I mean, uh, YouTube algorithm don't really appreciate my videos for some reason, and without Patreon supporters, this channel would die. And finally the results, let's start with the creep test. Here you can see the deformation in millimeters, the distance between two reference surfaces. We can see that the ASA has uh, less deformation, but the creeping is a difference between two days, and even here we can see the advantage of the ASA. On the tensile test, uh, this is almost the only test where the ABS has a minimal advantage compared to the ASA, but the difference is not big. On the layer adhesion test, um, ASA has a slightly better layer adhesion, difference is not big, but in both cases these are quite uh, weak layer adhesions uh, on the edge of the acceptable from my side. I also did this test uh, with the minimal part cooling, you saw that in that layer adhesion part, uh, but it's not included on the graphs. On the shear stress, uh, don't forget I had the horizontally and vertically printed test objects. On the horizontally printed, almost no difference here. On vertically printed objects, uh, no big difference, but compared to this one, uh, this is very weak. Uh, we can see again the disadvantage of the weak layer attention. On three-point bending test, uh, here you can see the deformation under these loads after 30 seconds. But again, maybe this is more interesting where we can see the deformation under these loads after 1, 30 and 60 seconds. And we can see slightly less deformation on the ASA part, but also we can see just a little bit more creeping of the ABS here on the high loads. On torque or twist test, again I have the horizontal and vertically printed test objects and here the load and 90 degree rotation is more important, no big difference here. On the vertically printed test objects, again the ASA has a slightly advantage compared to the ABS. On the ISO impact test, no big difference here and this is just a little bit better than the average ABS parts. And on a temperature test, this is typical for these materials, uh, they started to deform at approximately 94 degrees Celsius. Watching the results, I still don't understand why they have the ABS next to the ASA, don't forget the price is the same. Maybe only in intensive testing I can see minimal advantage of the ABS, but the difference is minimal. And in every other testing which I did, there is no difference, or even the ASA has small advantage here. Maybe I'm missing something here, write me down in the comment section if you have more information about this. About the Excel table for this video, I mentioned in the results part, I decided you can still download it from my website, because I figured out actually that most of my Patreon supporters are supporting me not because of that summary Excel table, because theoretically only in one dollar monthly Patreon support they can have the access to that summary table but uh, most of my Patreon supporters are supporting me with bigger values. So big thanks to them because they are keeping this channel alive, because the YouTube algorithm for some reason don't really appreciate my videos. So big thanks to my Patreon supporters and I hope you find this video useful. Thank you for watching and happy printing.